While you were sleeping, a total lunar eclipse over South Florida skies. It's the first across the U.S. in three years. I want you to take a look at these stunning pictures. They were sent to us by the South Florida Amateur Astronomers Association. And they look absolutely sunny. Next weather meteorologist Shane Henson joining us now with more on the science behind this stunning sight. Shane. Hey there. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, not only were we getting those photos uh, from that association, we also got them from our viewers. Melissa Gessner sent us the full blood warm moon. You can see it in partial eclipse there and then the uh, total eclipse right there. There with that red copperish color. We also have video that we can show you of the event overnight. I mean, just a stunning sight to behold, right? Now, the other day, Betty had uh, mentioned, well, we're going to step outside and it's just going to be completely dark, but it has that red copperish color, right? And so that leads me to say, well, you know, let's talk about why that is. So let's take a look at behind the science at what makes a blood moon red. Well, it all has to do with a very similar process as to why our sunsets are red. So you have the sunlight that passes through the Earth's atmosphere. Now, blue and violet light, they have shorter wavelengths and they scatter more easily throughout the sky. Red is a longer wavelength, and so that passes through the outer edge of the Earth's atmosphere and projects on the moon. So whenever we are viewing the moon during a total lunar eclipse, it appears in that red copper color. Now, hopefully you caught it because the next time we'll be able to see uh, the total lunar eclipse in the blood moon is going to be in 2029. Jeez, hey, all right. Yeah, yeah, but hey, did I miss the worm part of it? <laughs> I didn't worm, see a worm this morning. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the worm is because the full moon in the month of March is the worm moon. Got it. Okay. Thank At least we didn't you, miss Shane. anything. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> <laughs>